So is Debo Samuel. He's our uh, current wide receiver six in fantasy football half point PPR. But Tom, he's dealing with a rib injury, which he suffered Thursday against the Giants. What can you tell us about Debo? Yes, again, so we talked about ribs a little while ago with Kareem Hunt, but basically they're obviously involved in breathing. When you breathe in, the ribs expand. When you breathe out, they contract. With running, the lat muscles and the pecs, which are really powerful and pumping your arms, they attach right on the ribs. The obliques attach on the ribs, which help rotate us. And then, of course, just getting hit. A lot of times it's in the ribs. So this is really a, we know it's not a fracture. That was ruled out. So this is really a pain tolerance thing with Debo. And there's not a whole lot of dudes in this league that are tougher than Debo. No. So no. <laughs> if he if he's able to suit up, I'm not expecting this to hinder his production at all. We just saw DK Metcalf have a really nice game last week after dealing with a rib injury. Speaking of real tough guys, <laughs> my God. Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> <laughs> ribs don't so, bother these massive human beings like they're good roll out okay, there well they got a lot of a lot of muscle to protect it i guess it's true um but yeah another one that i'll be tweeting and, and putting out videos throughout the week to provide updates but i don't think this is going to impact him too much go to tom's twitter at fantasy injury t put those notifications on and see what tom's got for you man he might drop some stuff right before the games but super helpful resource and Tom Debo Samuel, man, ultra consistent. Another guy I really honestly didn't have many shares of. He was really inconsistent last couple of years, but this year so far, and his targets are rising, 7, 9, and 12. Plus, of course, he gets two, three, four of those end arounds, rushing plays, his potential to find the end zone on any play. You got Niners, man. They've just, they've just mastered. I mean, <laughs> Niners and Shannon, they've just mastered football. Like they just keep it, it's simple. But it's effective. They, just, you know, where the ball's going. You're going to get McCaffrey 20, 22 times a game. You know, you got to guard Kittle and Ayuk. Hopefully, when he's back and Debo. But they just get it done. Mister Relevant. Another tough team to beat there, man. The 49ers are fantastic, and they're fun to watch too. And Tom, what would make it more fun is if Brandon Ayuk was there too. He had a shoulder injury he missed last week. Is it looking now? This was their game was Thursday, so hopefully more time to rest. But is he looking better for this week? Another one that we're just going to have to keep monitoring throughout the week, but if he does play, I'm not expecting this to hinder him too much unless we get any hints that he may be on a, a reduced snap rate. So that's something that we see with these shoulder injuries is that is there, you can see the data on fantasyinjuryteam.com. We do see a decline of about 10 to 15% snap rate for receivers when they return. So if we think about this being a shoulder injury, it's not going to impact Ayuk's ability to run cut, run routes, get open, jump, et cetera. Uh, the only potential would be, is it going to limit his shoulder range of motion to reach up and make a catch? They're not going to put him out there if he can't reach up to make a catch. The concern would be, you know, if he falls on the injury or on the shoulder hard again, it can make the injury worse. So that's probably why teams will hold the players back a little bit when they return from this injury. But for how good he is and for how high upside he is, the potential reduction in snap rate is not enough to scare me off from starting him if he's going to play. Got off to a scorching start, too. I think he's a must-play, looking really good for that you know fifth, sixth, seventh round, wherever you got him. 